All right. Can I welcome everyone to the first meeting of the interests of members of the Scottish Parliament Bill Committee. Can I remind everyone present to turn off mobile phones as they can interfere with the sound system. We have not received any apologies in advance of today's meeting, so I will move to agenda item one. Uh, which is the declaration of interest. So the first item is to allow committee members to declare any interest they have that are relevant to the work of this committee. Uh, background uh, information has been provided in a note uh, from the clerk. Uh, my, in, my interests are declared in my register of interest. I have a few acres of land in Donegal and a small pension from the SPPA, which anyone can uh, see on my register of interest. Can I go round the table, starting from Bill Kidd, uh, to invite any members to declare any interests they feel are relevant? Uh, no relevant interest to declare. Thank you very much. Mary Faye. I have no um, relevant interest to declare in relation to the Bill. I am, however, a member of the Standards, Procedures and Public Appointments Committee. I'm not aware of any interest to declare. And I'm not aware of any interest to declare. I don't have any interest to declare. Thank you, uh, colleagues. Uh, can we just now move on to agenda item two, which is the choice of convener. Uh, the Parliament has agreed that only members of the Scottish National Party are eligible for nomination as convener of this committee. It is my understanding that Bill Kidd is the party's nominee for this post. Uh, can I ask colleagues, do we agree to choose Bill Kidd as our convener? Agreed. No seconder is required, so I would like to congratulate you, Mr Kidd, on your appointment. And I don't think we need to vacate chairs, so I just no. over to you. Right, well, thank you very much for seeing democracy in action there, please. <laughs> uh, um, that's uh, Mary Scanlon, you've shared that extremely well, thank you very much. Um, so the next item of business is uh, item three, choice of a deputy convener, uh, choice of the deputy convener, um, as I have been informed, uh, should fall first to Mary Scanlon, MSP. Is there any um, other view? Are you shouting something at me, Mr Don? I'm whispering something at you, but I think your clerk's going to whisper something at you as well. Hmm? Mary Fee. Yes. I beg your pardon. <laughs> it's that because... was a surprise to me, I must admit, but uh, too many Marys. Just Marys. Potentially <laughs> because there are too many Marys, and I've just said Mary Scanlon before that there. I do apologise. I'm sorry, sorry Mary. I'm sorry. Yes. I should have let uh, Graham Day take over. Um, yes, um, Mary Fee. Um, sorry, I do apologise. And can I ask if there uh, is support for that position then, please? Thank, thank you very much. Thank, thank you very much. So I apologise, Mary, but thank you very much for that. Um, item four then, and that is uh, business in private. And um, will the committee decide to take business in private in the work programme? Agreed. 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 Okay. Um, can I ask, please, if we can vacate the room uh, for those who are no longer involved? Uh, 